Hey everybody, hope you're doing well in isolation. Just Cal from FDT here, just helping you out with a little bit more uh, of our warm-up series. Uh, if you haven't checked out Holman's video, make sure to check that out. Uh, it'll give you a little bit more of a perspective of what we're going for here. However, today we're looking at using these things, Therabands. They come in handy, heaps of different sizes and can be extremely confusing. So let's make it a little easier for you, okay? so. At the very start, all you're really going to need is something small, just like this. Just a tube will do. All right, you can have all these different accessories, they help you out, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So, when we're doing a warm up, we want quick explosive movements. We want our breathing to be controlled, and we don't really want to be focused on putting in a lot of strain on our body. Hence, we're using a light TheraBand, we're not using a really heavy one. So. Just for this, arms about shoulder width apart. And when you're straining or extending, breathing in. When you're letting go, out. And making sure it's nice, quick movements like we just discussed. So, all right. So you should be working all around your shoulders, feeling a nice warm sensation going through your body, okay? You're also working this back area here, about the mid back. You don't really wanna be any lower, you'll be working a bit lower than that. However, we can make this work to our advantage. If we wanna get upper areas, such as our traps, we just lift it up, nice and high above our head, same thing. Or if you have it in front of your face, or behind your head, it will work different muscle areas. It's worth doing both, okay? Now, you can do individual muscle groups just as much as you can do larger muscle groups, okay? So, for stuff like our warm-up, we're working our entire upper body, okay? But when we're really wanting to focus in on one particular area, for example, our arms, which is very important, especially considering that tennis is an upper body sport, we're gonna need to work with more accurate movements. So for something like this, you can either grab one of these, it's a door lever, all right, helps out a lot, or you can just attach your TheraBands to a sturdy door handle, okay? Anything works. Now, like we said, small bands help for warm-ups, okay? Now, these are just a different series of bands you can get. You can get them from any good sports store, okay? So, for shoulders, we're gonna make sure that we have a nice firm grasp, elbow is nice, tucked into your body, all right? And you're just pulling it towards you, okay? Now, remember, smaller movements work smaller muscle groups. All right, have a play around with it, all right? Take it in little 45 degree angles and just check which part of your arm you can feel when doing the movement, okay? If it goes further out, you'll feel a different muscle group each and every time. So, something like this, nice and quick movements because we remember, we're doing a warm up here, not a workout, okay? You can also work your back and your scaps by pulling it straight in towards your body, working it from different angles, and making sure that every single time we do something on one side of our body, we're doing it on the other side of our body too, okay? So, remember, nice straight arm, making sure we're working that back region as well. Quick movements for warm-ups. All right, and apart from that, hope that answers a few of your questions, and I hope that helps you out during this isolation period. Now remember, this isn't just stuff you can do indoors. You do it before you get out onto a tennis court, Make sure that your body is nice and limber, nice and warm. Like I already said, Holman's already done a video on that one, so make sure to check it out, okay? So we hope you guys are all being safe during this period, making sure that you're staying inside and uh, having a good time with your families, okay? Thank you.